Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will cover numbers up to 15 and we will do this for addition. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. Something plus 9 equals 14. So something plus 9 equals 14. Now as we've mentioned before there are several different methods to do this so let's look at a few of them. We're going to start with the dot method. Okay, I'm going to rewrite the question again so we can do some workings. Something plus 9 equals 14. So the number we are starting from is 9. And what number added to 9 is going to give us 14. Okay. So we're starting at 9, and above this box, which is where we're going to find our answer, I'm going to draw the dots counting from 9, and we're going to stop at 14. So we've got 9 to begin with. Okay, Count with me. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And now we stop. We've got to 14. How many dots have we drawn? Well, let's count them. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got 5 dots. That's our answer. 5 plus 9 equals 14. Okay, so that is the dot method. And now we're going to use the number line. Now for the number line, and let's draw it down here because we're going to need a bit of space to draw it all the way across. We're going to start at 0, we're going to keep going, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. We're doing numbers up to 15, so we're going to stop at 15. Okay, so that is our number line from 0 to 15. Now let's have a look at our question again. Something plus 9 equals 14. So the first step is to find number 9 on our number line. Can you find number 9? It's over here. Let's put a nice big dot above it. So that is 9. Now what number do we have to get to? We have to get to number 14. Okay, after the equal sign we've got 14. So I'm going to put a red circle around it. Now we're going to start at number 9 and we're going to take jumps until we get to 14. Okay, so count with me. 9, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so let's count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our answer is 5. We've taken 5 jumps to get from 9 to 14. I just want to point something out here. The dot method, we got to the answer 5. Now the number line, we've also got to 5. So two different methods, but we've got to the same answer. Okay, we're going to use the third method now. Let's scroll down a little bit just to give us a bit of room. The third method, as you know by now, is the head and fingers method, also known as just counting. Now let's rewrite the question again so that we can do some workings something plus 9 equals 14. So this time we're going to use the fingers method, head and fingers method. I want you to start at number 9 and we're going to count to 14, okay? So you can say this, you can say there is 9 on my head, hold out your hands, okay? 
roll up the fingers so you've got a fist and you're going to stick out one finger at a time counting from nine and we're going to stop at 14. Now I'm going to draw just the uh, uh, lines to indicate the fingers but I want you to hold out your fingers one by one. So starting at nine hold out your first finger that's 10. The next finger 11. Hold out one more 12, 13 and 14. Okay so you should have quite a few fingers you're holding out now. Let's count how many fingers you're holding out. So count the fingers on your hand. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So you should be holding out five fingers. Okay and that is our answer. Five. That is our answer. It is five. So it's five plus nine equals fourteen. Now just have a look at the answers we've got. We've got 5 over here using the dot method. We've got 5 using the number line. And we've also got 5 using the head and fingers counting method. Now the head and fingers method is very important because it is mental arithmetic. You can do this without pen and paper. Okay. So that is find the missing number with numbers up to 15 for addition.